everyone, Hobbysai here. Today's video is going to be really short. I'm going to do a giveaway and then I'm going to do a quick update on what's going on with the tank. Before further ado, let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and start off with the giveaway. Uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for subscribing. The channel finally hit 1,000 subscribers, so that's a big milestone uh, for me. Um, when I first started this channel, I never thought it was even going to get 100 subscribers, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I decided to do a $100 bulk resupply gift card, probably because it's the most versatile for everybody who watches this channel. And if, you're out, if you win and you're outside of the United States, um, I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll do a Visa gift card or uh, something. Uh, the way to be a part of the drawing is you just have to leave uh, a comment uh, down below and I will do a drawing sometime before my next video. Um, other than that, let's do a quick update on how the tank is doing. Since this is the 1000 subscriber video update, I thought I'd share a clip from two years ago when I first set up the tank. I kind of missed that pure clean white rock look. Uh, maybe in the future I'll try to set up a tank that only has that white rock and some really nice and colorful fish. The first year was probably the slowest in terms of progress, but as you can see, the second year has been really good and the tank is now really starting to settle in in terms of stability. A few overall thoughts on the tank. I've been running ultra low nutrients since almost the beginning. I'd say there have been both pros and cons from this. Um, the good thing is that algae growth has been very, very easy to manage. In turn, I also don't see the fastest uh, coral growth, although it's noticeable from month to month when looking at the footage. In the future, I may try to run slightly higher nutrients, but I'm kind of scared to make such a drastic change to the way the tank is currently running. An update on the fish, I lost one of my female Bartlett antheases. Um, she was the smallest one and probably couldn't keep up with the abuse from the rest of the harem and the male. The other two females look like they're going pretty strong, although I'll have to keep a close eye on the somewhat abusive male. I do really love the color that they bring to the tank. I've also removed the last of my wrasses. Although I love the wrasses so much, they were starting to become a problem. Uh, because they were eating too many of my snails. Uh, I could just replace snails, you know, every month, but that's getting kind of annoying. So um, I'd see very little activity from the snails during the day as they would just be hiding, trying not to get eaten by the wrasses. After having removed the wrasses, I see a much higher activity level from the snails. I may attempt to add another small wrasse in the future, but currently I'm much more focused on keeping my tank clean. Um, I'm on the hunt for more trochus snails, but the current supply seems to be very low and I can't seem to get a hold of any. If you know of any sites that carry trochus snails for a good price, let me know in the comments below. I have added one more fish to the tank, a small lawnmower blunny. He loves his cave and is always coming out to pick on the rocks. The first day I got him, he managed to jump out of the current lid that I have and landed right on the floor. Luckily, I was working nearby, heard a splat, I put him back, and since then, no more escapes. Um, I'm still looking at getting a new lid from Clear Lids, just because the white egg crate that I'm using right now is kind of disrupting the look. As for corals, I haven't really made uh, any new additions. All of them are doing really well. Some corals have totally exploded in growth, like the Stylo and this pink lemonade frag. It's hard to notice day to day, but when I look at month old footage, it's clear that there's been significant growth. The digis are growing so fast that I'm finally starting to trim them back as well. I've been taking some of the trimmings and gluing them on some of the open rocks in my tank. Um, hopefully I don't regret this decision later. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Good luck uh, to everyone in the drawing, and I'll see you guys next time.